I'm now going to consider surface integrals, and I've chosen uh, two problems. The first is the following. You're asked to evaluate the surface integral of uh, z plus x squared y ds over the surface s, which is the cylinder x squared plus y squared equal 1, and between the, uh, this part of the cylinder between x equal naught and 3 in the first octant. All right, so in this case, you have to, um, you're not given a parameterization for the surface s. You have to work it out. So as usual, let's um, let's begin with a, a graph to see what this surface looks like. We know it's a cylinder or a piece of a cylinder. That would be my y, z, and this will be x. So this this cylinder, z squared plus y squared. That's a that's a just that is a, a circle of radius one, and it's a cylinder since x is not constrained in any way. As I say, let's draw, let's take this to be radius one. That's a circle of radius one, and um, it extends. I haven't yet labeled my axes. I see. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. Again, y, z. This is the x-axis, and um, I'm going to go from this. I'll take to be x equal three. This, of course, is x equals zero. So x will go from zero to three. That's this range. Then I have this cylinder again a radius, meant to be a radius one but I have to restrict it to be in the first octant so it has to be restricted to the first octant which means I'm going to cut off a part of it everything that is not um, in the first octant so all of this now it gets cut off uh, yeah I think that's right you know I carefully drew it and that part's going to be a little difficult to erase but let's kind of clean it up a little bit so that then is the surface S that we have to integrate over. And so the first thing we have to do is give a parameterization for that. Again, there's uh, various cases. I'm going to use cylindrical coordinates. I think that's um, most natural, although there's cylindrical coordinates where this will be the, the axis. So in fact, I'm going to call them U and V, but I'm going to be thinking in terms of cylindrical coordinates. And I will just choose, you can choose as you wish, I will choose this to be U. So that's clearly going to go between 0 and 3, and I'll just set x equal to u. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that part. So this will be just u. And then I'm going to choose as the other variable, I'm going to v, and I'm going to treat that as the angular variable here. Uh, going across here, I'll take that to be 0, and that to be the natural would be pi on 2. So this would be, give me, and the radius, again, recall the radius of this cylinder is 1. So this will be, I'll take v to, um, y to be sine of v and z will be cosine v. Alright, so if you think about it, you'll realize that this parameterizes um, parameterizes that arc. That is to say, if I restrict v, so let's put the, um, the ranges of u and v, u will go between naught and 3, and v will go between naught and pi on 2. Okay, so that was the first thing we had to do is parameterize our surface. Before actually writing in any integrals, we know what we're going to need. We're going to need ds, given in terms of a du and a dv. And for this, we have to work out the cross product of the derivatives of this. So let's just go ahead and do that. We always, almost always anyway, have to differentiate. So let's just get going on that. It'll be quicker, that'll be 1. Let's leave a little space, 0, 0. dr dv is 0 cosine v minus sine v. We're going to need the cross product. Um, so that will be, again, you imagine in your head a i, j, k here. So that will give us 0 i hat plus, and a j will give me a 0 uh, minus minus is plus sine v j hat, put a k hat here, um, plus cosine v k hat. So that's the cross product. I now need the modulus of this. Let me just write mod. Well, no, I'll write it in quickly. And that will simply be, you could just do it by i, but I'll write it down sine squared plus cosine, which is 1. Which gives us that then ds, which is equal to this magnitude of this cross product, and that will be simply equal to 1 du dv. Of course, you don't need to write the 1, just du dv. Now, this is something you should have known. 
right from the outset because again in cylindrical coordinates you should know what the area is I want to go ahead and uh, work it out but you should know this is uh, a problem in cylindrical coordinates effectively and you should know right away what the area element is and that in general let me just go up here and write it in general the area element ds is equal to r let's say in, in the usual coordinates it would be dr r dr d theta where this would be the radius of the cylinder and again the reason is if you have a piece and now I'm going to draw it in the orientation of my my surface here and I'm going to use the notation here that is to say this would be a du and this would be r dv but r here is 1 this r is 1 so it's simply dv so ds is du dv it's consistent with everything you know and you should just be able to see that immediately all right, let's continue the problem then over here. Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to um, express z and x squared y uh, using the bar parameterization. So let's do that. So z, z plus x squared y, y is, excuse me, z is cosine v, uh, x squared is u squared, and y is sine v. So now we're ready to integrate. I'll put uh, u on the outside because I know I want to do that one next, so that last. So 0 to 3, 0 to pi on 2, just to remind you those are my limits here. This function, cosine v plus u squared sine v, right? easy interval to do. 0 to 3, um, that would be sine v plus u squared minus, minus u squared cosine v from not to pi on 2. Right, that's integral from 0 to 3. You can plug in there. You'll get a 1 and a 0. Anyway, this will come out to be 1 plus u squared du. We can now integrate to get u plus u cubed over 3, evaluated between 0 and 3. And you do that and you find 12. That then is the answer. Alright, so this, inter this integration isn't actually the interesting part. It's it's getting the um, the two steps are getting this uh, this element of surface area. Well, getting a, in this case, I guess there's three steps. First, getting the parameterization because you're not told a parameterization. Getting the element of surface area, which again, let me just say, if you had chosen a different parameterization, that is to say, it's, suppose you had chosen to to view this as a graph and not use cylindrical coordinates, then you wouldn't have necessarily gotten ds was simply the UDB in terms of your parameterization is because I've chosen a particular coordinate system that I that I achieved this. Okay, in any case, I I got my DS for my parameterization. I then substituted in uh, these um, for my integrand. I set my limits of integration, and then it just turns into a problem in integration.